There are many hadiths which indicate that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whoever says the kalima la ilaha illallah with sincerity will enter Jannah. So I recite this kalima hundred times every day. Is that a guarantee I will enter Jannah? I think we need to understand this kalima a little bit more. Within this kalima, there are two very important things. Belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every single thing we do in our life demonstrates our love for Him. Our actions, our behavior, our speech, our body language, our thoughts, literally every single thing shows if we are true to this statement or not. Our belief in Him and our love for Him both go hand in hand. Entire Islam is based on this one kalima. The world was created to test our iman and our love for this one kalima. This one kalima is a savior from hellfire and a source of entry to Jannah. It distinguishes between good and bad, iman and kufr, and this kalima will determine your eternal happiness or grief. So in today's video, we are going to focus on, do we have those signs which indicate that we are sincere in our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And do we see those signs in our daily life or not? For this one kalima, la ilaha illallah, we turn in the direction of the qibla. We perform wudu, we pray salah, every ruku, every sujood, dhikr, fast, all forms of worship indicate our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we love someone, we hope they will love us in return and we fear to make them upset. Similarly, we have hope and fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this hope and fear is a demonstration of Allah for him. So we hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept our du'as and we fear to make him upset and for that we stay away from all kind of haram things. We try our best not to drink haram, not to eat haram, not to wear haram, not to watch anything haram, not to listen to anything haram, not to say anything haram and all of that hope and fear is a sign that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we love someone and we are sure they love us too, then we place full trust in them. So our tawakkul, our trust, our reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a sign we love him. So for example, when we do istikhara and we seek his guidance and we follow his guidance, that following of his guidance is the trust we have in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that trust is a sign that we love him. La dunya when we love someone over time we get influenced by them and we start to like everything they like so when we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we begin to love everything every person every place which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves so we love people for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we love going to his masajid we begin to enjoy listening to Islamic content we begin to enjoy reading Islamic books so all of these are the signs of the embodiment of Allah's love when we love someone, we like to share everything with them. We want to tell them how our day was. So do you do this with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Do you talk to him? Do you share all your feelings with him? Do you tell him what makes you happy? What makes you sad? What energizes you? What your dreams are? Because this communication, this daily communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a sign of your love for him. In our daily lives, we are always seeking opportunities to show our love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when we take an oath, we take it in His name. When we make a mistake, we turn to Him in repentance. When we feel we are in a difficult moment, we seek His support. When we are happy and we want to rejoice, we rejoice with Him through gratitude and hamd. And all of these are signs that we love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah,
Don't just recite this kalima and think it's a guarantee. I'm going to enter Jannah. Sit down and start to think for yourself. Do I see these signs of love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my life? Because if you see these signs, the kalima has entered your heart. If you don't see the signs, then the kalima is still on the tongue and it needs to enter the heart. Do you know why this kalima will save us from hellfire? Because how can the fire touch someone whose heart, mind, every limb, it will testify the love of this person for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who loves Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that person, fire cannot touch them. Hence, they will enter Jannah. Try to understand the real value of these words, what they mean, how can we embody them. And the real fruit of this kalima, it's going to be the day we will get to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who we loved in this dunya without seeing him, the ultimate reward will be the day when we get to see him. Finally, all I'm going to say is search for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's love in your everyday life. Every act of love, every sign of love, it's a step closer to seeing him on that day. And it's also a confirmation that he loves you too. Take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.